In this algebra tutorial, I wanted to show you this 8 fundamental one-step equation that you will see in your algebra class. Of course, these right here are like a beginning algebra, and these right here, especially these two, are mainly for like algebra 2. So, let's go ahead and get started with the first one. We have x plus 3 is equal to 12. You always want to do the opposite. See, we have plus 3. The opposite of that is minus 3. So, minus 3 on both sides, cancel, and you will get x equals 12 minus 3, which is 9. And you are done for that. One step, as I told you. Next, if we have x minus 3 is equal to 12, the opposite of that will be plus. You just add 3 on both sides. So they cancel. And here we will get x, right? And that's equal to 12 plus 3, which is 15. Done as well. Next, what's happened here? This is just 3x. What does that mean? This means 3 times x. And the opposite of that is to divide. You divide the number, not the variable though. You divide 3 on both sides. So that's 3 and 3 cancel to be 1. And you will get the x by itself. And that's equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that will be the answer for this. Next, we have x divided by 3, right, x over 3, and that's equal to 12. The opposite of division is multiplication. Let's put down multiply by 3 right here and multiply by 3 right here. This 3 and that 3 will cancel, and we just get the x by itself, and that's equal to 3 times 12, which is 36. Just like that. Now, moving to the harder equations. Here, the 3 is in the exponent. This is x to the third power. That's equal to 12. Remember, when we have the power right here, you want to do the radical. This is power two, power 3, right? So you do the cube root. Right? x cubed, you take the cube root. You do the cube root on both sides. So that this and that can cancel, and x will be equal to well, cube root of 12 is not a nice number, so usually you can just write it as cube root of 12 like this for the answer. And of course, sometimes that you can just use a calculator to get the approximation. And I will tell you, this is approximately 2.289. Next, if we have a cube root of x is equal to 12. Well, earlier when we have the power, we do the radical, Right now, when we have the radical, we do the power. Match this index. So raise both sides to the third power like this. Cancel. x will be by itself, and that's equal to 12 to the third power. This we can work it out. Just 12 times 12 times 12, and we get 1728. And that's the answer for this. Next, this one is trickier though. We have the x in the base. This is 3 to the x power. To get rid of this 3, you are going to take the logarithm. And this is something that you will learn in Algebra 2. And you always put a log with the same base and you put that in the front. Right? There's a function on the calculator that allows you to do that. Then I'm going to write down the log and we call this log base 3 like this. When you do this, this and that cancel and you get the x back. And again, this is not a nice number. You just leave it like that. Log base 3 of 12. And if you want to see how big this number is, you can use a calculator. You get approximately 2.262. And finally, we have log base 3 of x is equal to 12. x is inside of the logarithm. So in this case, you see earlier when the x is in the exponent, we do log. Right now, when we have log, we are going to pretend that they are the exponents. So we do the following. We do 3 to this power and 3 to that power. This and that can also cancel. In fact, these two are the inverse operations, like these two, this two, and this two. That's a setup for this video. And then finally, you can just say x is equal to 3 to the 12th power. And again, you can work that out on your calculator. You get 
five, three, one, four, four, one. All right, so hopefully this right here helps, especially this right here. Make sure you know when to do what. For more algebra equations or tutorial, you can check out my playlist and subscribe to the channel. That's it.